Hello, today for review I've got another model made by company Austri, it's model KC07. Surprisingly, but Austri are crazy popular in the former Soviet Union countries and almost unknown in the rest of the world. But actually their models KC09 and both versions of KC06 are really good dynamic driver models for those who'd like uh, a bit uh, warmer but actually nice resolving and balanced sound so and uh, after relatively successful models Austria decided to release the hybrid model with a noticeably higher price KC07 costs uh, $200 and actually it's pretty surprising because KC09 costs only $100 they also thought that they will release that model for $200 but then they've cut the price and KC07 they decided to release for $200 and uh, now let's have a closer look package is stylish you can, you can probably see this interesting cardboard box with uh, plastic insert uh, and uh, visible in-air monitor themselves. On the back side there is uh, technical specifications, so 10 mm dynamic driver, 101 decibel of sensitivity, 24 ohms of impedance, 20 Hz, 20 kHz, uh, less than 1% of uh, probability distortion, 10 milliwatts of uh, rated power, so pretty typical specs. So we unpack it and inside there is a plastic lid. Oh, sorry, there is a special thing to, to remove it. So it can be done carefully. So inside we'll have cable organizer. You can use it to wind cable or to store in your monitors inside. It has magnets for clipping. Ostri themselves. Two set of tips. So as you can see, three pair of double flange tips and uh, five pair of single flange tips and uh, cable and storage pouch. So accessory set is pretty good. In terms of design and build quality, these in-ear monitors are really good. You Austria is uh, always good in, in this aspect, so they are made of metal, have interesting design. Just look at this uh, fancy face plate, they have slogan. On the right ear piece it's beyond and on the left fantasy. So pretty stylish looking and at the same time they are really slim and they are fitting nicely into ears. They have pretty long good spouts providing above the average sound isolation and they have good lip, protective grill, so everything that I really usually mention. And uh, I forgot to say that they have two types of tips in stock. Those are made of some kind of sticky silicone it uh, isolating ears better and uh, those are made of regular silicone. So I prefer these tips because they have better seal. Let me put it back. Everything is done perfectly, nice polished finish and uh, ergonomic design. Cable is also really good. So. This one is left, this one is right. MMCX connectors made of metal with really good clipping force. Connect first one, second one. Cable itself is also nice, it's soft, it has zero microphonic, it's really flexible, lightweight, uh, it's not getting hard when it's cold, it's not tangling. It looks really stylish in, with this uh, two-color black and white isolation. It's uh, braided nicely, it goes way down to the splitter and after the splitter it goes braided to the jack itself. So in terms of design, in terms of build quality, in terms of wearing comfort and 
everything like that it's uh, really good in your monitors that are done really nicely and of course about the sound you know i'd really like to say something oh they sound so great it's the best in your monitors in this price range or one of the best just break your piggy bank and go and buy them on the aliexpress on pen and audio or somewhere else but uh, unfortunately i can't say that and uh, because it would be a lie you know their sound is uh, really controversial with some tunes they sound uh, really really good with others they don't sound so and uh, i uh, i suspect that uh, the main reason is uh, drivers overlap because those offer good lows, good treble and uh, actually not so good mids. But let's move probably step by step. So lows here are really good. It's dynamic driver lows that goes pretty deep with nice uh, resolution. Of course it's not balanced armature, so resolution is typical for the dynamic drivers, but not uh, for balanced armatures. It has normal texturing, pretty good, uh, well control and so on and so forth. So everything that you can probably ex expect with good rumble, good depth, uh, good weight, uh, good uh, punch and so on. Of course, resolution could be a bit uh, better, but uh, for this price range, actually, if we won't compare with something more expensive, it's uh, normal. As an example of uh, low frequencies track, not this button, actually what I prepared, I usually select uh, songs and put them to playlist. Yep, a bit unusual surprise. Epic trailer theme, uh, Global Time Studios, actually it's uh, some kind of test track that few puts on their recent dubs and it's uh, interesting tune, actually you can understand what's, what, what, what kind of tune it is by the name, it's really epic with a lot of uh, low frequencies rumbles that uh, this in your monitors represented really nicely and uh, in really impressive way so in terms of uh, depth they are good it's not bus heavy model you know like uh, to massage your eardrums with low frequencies but it's really good balanced deep bass and about mids that's the most controversial part because you know lower part of mids is good male vocals uh, Especially low one sounds uh, pretty nicely. Good body, good uh, resolution, good uh, emotions. All the instruments that uh, hit to the lower part of mid uh, mid frequencies is also nice. But somewhere on the upper mids, uh, but below the treble area, there is some kind of uh, smoothed uh, part. I think that it's where dynamic driver and balanced armatures overlap and this part is uh, really lacking resolution and because of that sometimes players sound softly. For example, it, uh, oh sorry, of course not players, those earphones sound softly. For example, they don't play uh, genres like heavy metal or hard rock because they sound uh, really softened. And uh, at the same time, genres like uh, jazz music and some some female vocals, especially high-pitched ones, sound pretty nicely and uh, engaging. If they have a normal level of emotions, uh, imaginary stage is uh, a bit above average both in width and in depth, so almost everything good. If only this uh, part on the upper mids were a bit more forward and a bit more aggressive. I try to fix it via the equalizer, I try different tips and uh, cables, but unfortunately no luck with that. I am not sure why they did it this way, maybe they wanted to create more comfortable sound that is a bit on the warmer side, I don't know. As an example of mids, I've got uh, reckless, reckless Love, pretty good uh, pop hard rock I'd say, so it's kind of a bit heavy but uh, still on more, more on the popular side. 
Monster, nice energy, energy uh, track with good energy put into this track with uh, emotions and it sounds almost almost good but actually it's uh, where the guitars like distorted guitars lacking a bit of aggression but it's still pretty enjoyable if you okay with a bit uh, darker representation and treble also pretty nice it's not super extended extension is average but uh, treble is uh, uh, nicely controlled without big issues without big problems so uh, normal resolution uh, almost uh, good attacks in the case so for this price range it's ac acceptable treble that uh, they are not super good but they are definitely not bad so pretty normal treble pretty enjoyable and uh, as an example i will use probably less known band it's uh, Belo Dugme, former Yugoslavian group uh, that uh, in this group actively participated Go uh, Goran Bregovic, so it's the first group of uh, Goran and uh, actually I think that, that that what makes it differ, uh, interesting. But actually I really like uh, ex-Yugoslavian rock music and uh, Yerkad Osterish. Uh, pretty interesting song that uh, probably perfectly match this in ear monitors you know if i used only this song for testing i'd say that these iams are almost perfect because this song has a really low uh, going really drum that goes really low and has a lot of interesting uh, percussion bells and uh, in the treble area that uh, perfectly matching the representation of this in the ear monitors uh, and they almost ha have nothing in that in that region that is problematic for this in ear monitors so no issues with those so to summarize everything they are genre dependent so for some kind of electronic music, for jazz, for some kind of rock, for actually for not aggressive music and for those uh, tunes that doesn't require probably upper mids uh, presence, they are good. For aggressive music and uh, some, uh, especially on some vocals, uh, low female vocals or high male vocals, they are not so good. Probably I won't uh, go deep into comparisons because in this price range there are a lot of uh, good models. I can't recall every single one, but for example, uh, Hi-Fi Boy OS V3 is more natural, more balanced, more resolving for, for those who like natural sound. For those who like technical sound with uh, fast and punchy bass, uh, for, you can consider Dunu Falcon C. There are a lot of uh, Chinese uh, multi-balanced armatures from Magaosi, from Yinyu and uh, other manufacturers. 10, 10 Hz uh, I can mention also, they are usually more resolving on mids, but with well, usually sometimes with problems in the other parts of uh, spectrum. Actually, if you want uh, Austri sound, I can definitely recommend you Austri KC09 good model with uh, more balanced, more weighty, a bit more darker sound. Of course, KC09 is uh, uh, worse on trebles than those, but they are noticeably better on mids and uh, they cost two times more, or oh, sorry, less of course. So I think that KC09 is more balanced model. So to summarize everything, you know, it's. Uh, I feel really sorry. Such a good-looking, greatly designed model with nice package, good accessory set, and so on and so forth, but uh, not universal sound. If you have a chance to listen them, you can definitely audition them because uh, some tunes they fit nicely, but they are definitely not universal, and uh, unfortunately, I can't recommend uh, buying them without auditioning. Thank you for attention.